good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, hope you're doing well. I wanted to go over just a few basic um, things about pipe smoking that um, uh, just some basic fundamentals that I've learned over the last few years of me smoking pipes and thought that I would uh, share them with you. If you are a um, new uh, pipe smoker or one that just wants to see what other people are doing, well here's your opportunity. So um, I use uh, this tamp. I, I like this tamp a lot. There's lots of other kinds out there, but this one is you, you always find this kind around and uh, it is um, It's got a great tamp on it uh, You can use this if you pack your pipe too tight and then to clean out your bowl you have your little scooper thing And I do realize that there's names for those and I should have looked them up before I made this video, but I didn't um so the the thing about uh, that I was taught when I started packing a pipe for the very first time was um, to make sure that, that you should be able to pack a pipe in roughly three um, three pinches of, of tobacco. So the first one you you when you take it and you put it into you actually put it into the bowl and you press it down you're supposed to press it down at the strength that you would shake a baby's hand then um, your second uh, your second pinch you're supposed to be able to pinch at the uh, strength that you and you tamp down at the strength that you would shake a lady's hand then the third one is the strength of a man's you would shake a man's hand so there's a there's those three different levels and what it's doing is is you're protecting the bottom so that there's enough of an airflow at the bottom that it doesn't get so stuck down there that it gets stuck right in to this area where there's the uh, the opening up into the reed and that has um, help me a lot when learning to pack pipes because we've all done it where we pack a pipe too tight um, and it's just a miserable smoke even when you have this to poke holes into it and then you can take this off and you shove it down here it doesn't matter it's just a tough smoke throughout you're always you're it's it's as it's like trying to smoke or it's trying to uh, suck a overly frozen milkshake um, it's just tough to do which reminds me uh, something else that I was taught was when you get done and you take that draw on it you should you should have a little bit of resistance and the best way to um, Remember that is to you want the resistance of the kind of milkshake that you like the best a little bit of resistance on that milkshake uh, it, But it's it's not a soda So something to keep in mind and I found that when you do that You don't have to keep relighting you hardly ever need to use your tamp um, and uh, that is what I've learned uh, to just create a good and enjoyable pipe. Now, something that I didn't do for a while until I learned more about it was the need for um, cleaning a pipe. And there are some things out there that I recommend for um, getting good for cleaning pipes and oh my goodness I didn't realize that my stem tasted so bad um, until I decided one day I'll I'll get some cleaning stuff for a stem and use now a point of caution just because this is wood 
does not mean that you should use regular wood cleaning things on it. Wood is porous. Por the porous wood accepts that which you put on it um, in the form of your cleaning stuff. Then it heats up and it expands, thus pushing out the things that it accepted. And then you do this. And you now have a cleaning agent at a much higher degree of, of a, a, a very much higher temperature than what the manufacturer ever thought would want and you're sucking it into your mouth so keep that in mind don't put regular cleaners on there go find um, some good pipe cleaning solutions to use and you can get it for the 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 stem you can get it for the actual wood um, you can get it for the bowl now don't be I I have a bunch of different pipes and I try and keep the different types of tobaccos separate between them because when you smoke a good um, uh, smoke one you want that cake to build up inside the bowl and when you do that I'm here talking and uh, my pipes going out I'm bad bad me um, the uh, the more that you do that um, the more flavor you'll get because it's going to retain that which is you know that what's being caked on there so if you could start combining different um, tobaccos uh, like very different tobaccos let's say an English tobacco and a um, aromatic you're going to get a very confused taste after a while in your pipe just because your pipe is now experiencing uh, you, you're experiencing all those caked onto the pipe plus whatever you're actually smoking and it will get confusing and it takes a lot then to try and get that out of your pipe because your pipe is supposed to retain past smokes which I think is very cool so um, I'll tell you very quickly that um, I use here a, a vector light it's got a great pipe um, light on it plus it has one I don't know if you can see that there it is um, a, uh, a hard flame for a uh, cigar so but um, once you get done and it's always good to once you get if you smoke an entire bowl uh, give your pipe a rest it expands it goes through a, um, a, a transformation process you'll be able to tell that just you you'll you will notice it by the fact that your rim or sorry your stem doesn't is not as loose as when you first start smoking it by the time that this bowl gets warm and the wood expands your stem is much more difficult to uh, take apart so um, there's some basics on uh, starting out your first uh, pipe or uh, learning different techniques in which to do that so do you have any techniques um, anything that you've learned that uh, you want to share uh, please comment uh, like this video uh, subscribe to the channel there's lots of other um, pipe and cigar things coming but also a whole bunch of other uh, playlists with a lot of different things that um, are an interest to gentlemen such as myself and hopefully you too. So take care and um, we'll see you next time. Have a good day gentlemen.